Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. Uh, my name is Donald Oji and the topic for today's video is handling partitioning in IDMC sources. So the agenda uh, for this video is how to handle partitioning um, in multiple sources. Uh, so, for example, when you have uh, two sources in your mapping and one of the source is partitioned and the other source is not partitioned. So, how do you handle that uh, scenario? Um, and then this video is going to be followed by uh, a brief demo uh, to show how this can be accomplished in, in IDMC. All right, uh, so in this mapping, um, I have a mapping that has two sources, uh, source A and source B, all right? And as you can see, uh, source A has uh, two partitions on the table. Uh, however, source B uh, has no partition. And when you try to validate uh, the mapping, uh, you get this error that partitioning requires the same number of partitions to be set across multiple sources. All right, so how do you fix this? Uh, so basically, you go to the table that don't have a partition and um, make sure you add um, a partition, right? So you're going to add a pass-through partition. And you, you want the partition uh, to match the number of partitions you have in the other table. So in this case, I'm going to add uh, two partitions. And then uh, I'm just going to use a query uh, with a filter where one equals to two. So basically nothing happens, right? All I'm trying to do is to uh, simulate a partition in source B, that way it matches the partition, the actual partition in source A. So all I'm going to do here under SQL query, I'm going to add uh, a select, basic select statement from the table where one equals two, right? And then I'm going to repeat the same thing in the other partition where one equals two. And then um, Finally, I can, I can save my, my mapping. And as you can see, uh, the mapping was able to validate. And now you can go ahead and, and run the mapping. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, we would love to hear from you. Uh, you can either contact us at, in, at supportvideos at informatica.com or twitter.com forward slash info support. Thank you.